Hello beautiful, welcome to my channel. It's Jody, and I'm so excited that you're here today because we are in Buffalo and we're thrifting today. I just got done with a beautiful brunch at Pressure Drop Brewery here in downtown Buffalo. It was so delicious, oh my goodness, I could not believe it. But now, I'm full and I'm hoping to find some treasures. Let's go inside Amvet's thrift store and see what we can find. Don't forget to like and subscribe, I need your support. I love you, let's go. I'm predictable. My first stop was a rack of jackets. There were actually a couple cute jackets here, but I ended up resisting and walked away. You may recognize this store because I was actually here a couple of months ago when I visited Buffalo for the very first time. I loved this shirt and I thought, oh man, I should take it. I actually put it in my cart, walked around with it for quite some time, and I ended up putting it back. I kind of regret that decision. This is a very large thrift store and there are tons of everything. So as you can see, there's a bunch of belts. There is just a great supply of just about anything you can want in this store. However, when I went in the store, I actually had no real plan in mind. I was just in town, figured I'd waste a couple of hours walking around a thrift store. You never know what you're gonna find. And it was actually a lot of fun just looking at some of the items that aren't necessarily in my local thrift store. Now blankets are something that I've kind of gotten into collecting and it's because I have this dream to make blanket jackets. And yes, I have quite a few that are sitting in the queue that just have not been touched. And as I look at this video, I wish I would have picked up a couple more. However, I've been so busy helping my husband with his new restaurant banquet house. I just couldn't do it. Look at that big supply closet. Oh my goodness. They had stuff packed to the roof. And as you can see, they have something for just about everyone here at this thrift store. With a thrift store of this magnitude, you often have to walk by items several times just to make sure that you're looking at everything. So what I did is I actually walked all the way down this aisle looking at all of the home goods items. And then I went on to clothing and I made one last pass at the end of my trip just in case I missed something special. As I look at all of these plates and glasses and decor, I always wonder why do people go to a regular store before visiting a thrift store? We have so many items that are just sitting, waiting to be reused or reimagined. And frankly, a lot of the decor today really reflects what was in the past. So if you pay attention to West Elm, Pottery Barn, or some of the higher end stores, you will often find that you can find items in the thrift store that mimic those new items, but yet they're vintage and better quality. This store was unique because it had furniture. A lot of the stores that I go to in my area do not have furniture. In fact, Salvation Army used to carry furniture and I've noticed that they've kind of stopped. I'm not exactly sure what that's all about and I haven't had a chance to ask any of the workers there just yet. Either they're not getting any donations or they've decided no longer to, the, to accept those donations. I did enjoy these lights. I thought they were very feminine.
after looking at the home goods sections, I decided to go and look at more coats because why not? <laughs> you always need a coat. Luckily, I did not find one that had to come home with me, but they had a pretty huge selection. This store was bursting with supply. As you saw, the back of the store was filled to the ceiling. And then they also had bins just sitting in the actual aisles filled with product that wasn't even out on the shelves just yet. Here you see me looking through pants, looking through shorts, and I don't know why I even bothered because you know I have a hard time finding them. I always like to take some time and look at tops. And as I'm going into the summer months, I'm kind of keeping an eye out for golf tops. As you know, my husband's business is located on a golf course. And so I need to dress accordingly. And I kind of want to pull out my golf clubs. So this was a great chance for me to look for some nice golf tops. I also enjoy thrifting professional blouses for work. So I always have to stop by the top section because that's one of my favorite sections. The challenge going to a new thrift store is not knowing all the inventory. So I myself feel a lot of pressure to look at every single item in the store. And that's not always conducive to actually making some decisions on items that I'd like to take home. How about you? Here are the items that I took into the dressing room that I decided not to take. Unfortunately, I couldn't take you into the dressing room with me because it was the size of a quarter of a closet. It was so tiny that there was absolutely no room and the mirror was a mess. Those were some cute items, but I decided to leave them. Okay, that was a lot of fun. Also, I don't know if I was in the mood to thrift. Do you know how, do you have those days? Let me know in the comments below if you have those days where you just get in there and you're like, hmm, maybe I don't need to be in here today. Anyways, I did walk away with one item. I couldn't show you all the try on in the um, dressing room because it was tiny. It was like literally a little box and then the mirror was all a mess. So a mess. So I got these jean shorts. They are Cherokee, nothing special, but they were a pink tag. So they were 50% off. So $4.98, I got them for $2.61. I actually had a credit of $2.49 from the last time I shopped at an Amvets here in Buffalo a long time ago. And so it was only 24 cents that I needed to pay. So then I go rifling through my wallet and of course I didn't have 25 cents. All I had was a $5 bill, so I pulled it out. I was like, I'm oh, sorry, all I have is a five. And she looked in her little change like box right next to her cash register. She goes, don't worry about it. I got these shorts for free. I wish I would have gotten more. I'm not gonna lie. 
I did try on all those shorts uh, because I really want to have some golf attire now that I'm at the golf course a lot. And I will be looking for those, but you know me, I have a hard time finding bottoms at the thrift store. So I think I'm just gonna have to go do some old fashioned shopping for that. And I looked for some golf tops, but I didn't try any of them on because the, the dressing room was just too tight. It's okay. I'm happy with these. These actually fit comfy and nice little addition to my wardrobe. So if you enjoyed going thrifting, don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe. Also leave me a comment below. Tell me, did I miss anything? I know I was showing you a whole bunch of racks and I was just going a little bit quicker today than I thought. So I probably missed a gem. If I did, leave me a comment below. I'm always interested to know if I've missed something. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you and I'll see you next week, beautiful. I love you. Bye.